The court is now in session for the trial of Mr. Will Powers. The prosecution is ready, Your Honor. The defense is ready. Very well. Mr. Edgeworth, your opening statement, please. Prosecution will show the court that at 2.30 p.m., October 15, the defendant, Mr. Will Powers, killed fellow actor Jack Hammer. Okay. It is possible for anyone else to have committed this heinous, heinous crime. The evidence presented during the trial will all point to this fact. Hmm, I see. Very well. I would like to move on to your testimony. Mr. Edgeworth, the prosecution may call its first witness. Oh god. Oh, what the? Detective Gumshoe to the stand. Gumshoe. D don't slip, man. Detective, if you would briefly describe this case to the court. Yes, sir. I'll explain with the guide map here. Alright. To understand this case, it's important to grasp the layout of the study. Or the studios. This here is the employee area. The actors did a run through of their action scenes during the morning here. This is the main gate to the studios. She spazzed out on us, man. <laughs> the security lady that works at the studios was here at 1 p.m. on that day. Uh, yeah, right there. 1 p.m. Gate lady came in. So, our notes has that. Uh, past the security station, there is the gate. Past that are the studios. And here it is, Studio 1. The crime scene. This is the scene of the murder, where the body was found. Now, on the day of the murder, October 15, there were only three people here. Okay, here we go. October 15. That's October 15... Uh, Jack Hammer's there. Defendant Will Powers. And, okay, young woman, Penny. Her name is Penny. All the production staff were in the employee area. Until noon. Okay. Then after lunch, the victim went to Studio One. Okay. And then he died at 2.30. Right after that, at 1 p.m., the security lady got to the guard station. Okay, 5 p.m., here we go. Make new entry, 5 p.m. The production staff came to Studio One to perform a rehearsal. Okay. Needless to say, the rehearsal was canceled because there was a body there. Oh, that's crazy, man. Spear to the heart. The time of death was 2.30 p.m. Samurai spear found lodged in the weapon in the victim's chest was the murder weapon. Yeah. Okay. So it was a spear, right? Spear. Samurai spear. Victim weapon. Victim. No, sorry. Uh, weapon. Murder weapon. That's the case in brief. I don't like to hear that again. Hmm. No, I think I'm good. I think I pretty much just summarized it. I think I could probably remember that. So the murder weapon was a spear. How medieval. Okay. That's crazy. Um, our evidence is very limited. We don't have much. Your honor. This case is quite simple if you ask one question. And that question is. What did the security lady at the guard station see? Understood. Let's call the security officer to stand. Oh my god. This is good. Hmm, my goodness. This grandma. Will the witness declare her name? Her name's Old Bag. Hmm? My, aren't you a handsome fellow? I'm afraid I'm a bit flustered. Oh. Oh, what the heck? <laughs> Your name, please. <laughs> oh, dearie. No need for you to be embarrassed. Just call me grandma. See, I told you, grandma. <laughs> Your name, please. Seems Edgeworth has a bit of trouble getting his witnesses to say their names. Wendy Old Bag. Wendy. Wendy Old Bag? 
<laughs> That's such a funny name, Wendy. It's the only decent name and an old bag I've never heard ever. So just call me Grandma. Oh, what the? Objection! <laughs> Objection. <laughs> I object to the witness's talkativeness. Talkativeness. Objection sustained. The witness will refrain from rambling on the stand. <laughs> very funny, man. Very funny. I was just getting to the good part, theory. Perhaps we can get to the testimony? Uh, now, the witness was stationed at the main gate on the day of the murder, correct? Yes, say I was. And to get to the scene of the murder, someone would have to pass by you. You know your stuff, theory. You may begin your testimony. She sure is one hell of an old bag. <laughs> Alright, this is gonna be so weird. On the day of the murder, I arrived at the guard station at 1pm. Yep. Poor old Hammer and the rest has been doing a run through there since the morning. But they were at the... What, weren't they in the staff room though? At 12pm? I, well, I had some errands to run that morning. Anyway, it was one when I got to the guard station. I was at the main gate from then until five. Yeah, okay. I have five o'clock down. Now the murder happened at 2.30, yeah? Interesting to me because a certain man walked right by me. Ooh. All right. 2 p.m. Uh... Unknown man. Pass by old bag. Let's do it. It was Powers. Oh. That man right there. And he was heading toward the studio. Oh, wow. So he killed him within 30 minutes? He saw the defendant then. Very well. Let's begin the cross-examination. Mr. Wright. I don't know. I barely have any... I barely have any... Uh, evidence. Well, let's do it. A day of the murder. Okay. Um. I kind of wanna. Okay, let's press this one. There you go. A run through. They were working out a scene between the steel samurai and the evil magistrate. They got the basics figured out by noon. And that's when everyone went to the staff room. And were to use the afternoon for practice. Rehearsal was supposed to start at 5. So Powers was in his dressing room sleeping. When he was supposed to be practicing. If there was a run through in the morning. Why did you only get there afternoon? Uh... I, well, I had some errands. Okay, let's press that. What kind of errands? Like, killing people, right? Killing people? Oh, well, you know. Answer the question. Actually, I was watching poor Hammer and Powers. Observing, you know? Uh, observing? Weren't you supposed to be at the guard station? Whippersnapper, I told you I locked the gate, didn't I? I did my job. I'm not sure your boss would see it that way. Anyway, I always watch Hammer's run through. Never missed one in all my years. Wow, I want to see a Steel Samurai run through too. You could quit being a spirit medium and take up guard duty. Not a bad idea. <laughs> Very funny. A spirit medium is a more interesting job. I would not swap that for anything. Um, all right, let's press every single line. Did you see the victim then? Did I see poor old Hammer? No. He'd already gone to the studio before I got back to the guard station. Tell us what happened next. I was at the main gate from then, okay? Now, the murder happened at 2.30 p.m. Okay, I'm just gonna write this down. Interesting to me because, okay, this one. 
too? Are you sure? Sure as spit. Well, who was the man? She said hammers, right? Really, you should try not to get so excited at your age. You might strain something. They're the same. They're like almost the same age. Like, what the heck? <laughs> now, now. Don't get your skivvies all in a bunch. I'll tell you who it was. Oh, sorry. Not hammers. Powers. It was powers. Tama right there. And he was heading toward the studio. Nick. Doesn't she seem like she's enjoying this a little too much? Windbags love gossiping about other people's misfortunes. Ugh. Can't she get her kick somewhere else? <laughs> Very funny. On the day of the murder, I arrived at the go- Okay, what? It's the same thing. She'd been- Okay. So, we can't really- Oh, that's it. That's that's all of it. All right. I guess. Uh... Can I check it? 2 p.m. Taking at the gate between the entrance and the studios. Uh... Can we not present this? This evidence clearly reveals. Uh oh. I got that wrong. <laughs> they aren't, aren't they? Sorry, I accidentally pressed... Uh, I accidentally pressed it on a different uh, line. I wanted to do it here. This one. I wanted to do it here. Oh, wait, Jack... Oh. Pierced by... The, okay. Pierced through the chest by a spear. Do you, think it's a good, do you think it's a good idea, Havoc, if I raise up the question? Uh, probably not, though, because this is... We, even if we... Ah, uh, it's powers, man. Um... Okay... Wait a minute. Where is this going? Oh wait, is it going towards the studio? Front entrance of the studio. Ah, uh, okay. This is impossible. Because if you if you look at it, isn't the gate? Um. See, there, there's a gate and the studio, studio one. So if she was in the if she was in the uh, main gate, she wouldn't be able to see past the gate, right? How is that possible? See, this was taken between the gate between the entrance and the studios. How? At 2 p.m.? She was already back at her station at 1. I feel like it's gonna be this. It's powers? Question mark? I feel like it's gonna be this one. Let me get this straight, old bag. Err, uh, Miss Old Bag. You've been saying since yesterday that you saw Mr. Powers, correct? But you're talking about that man in the photo, aren't you? J just a moment, Mr. Wright. Let me see that photo. It's the evil magistrate. What is this exactly? Oh no, it's not. Uh the evil magistrate is the big is a bigger um he has a bigger body. That's a steel samurai. Is this the pa Mr. Powers that you saw? Of course. Did your mama teach you any sense, Sonny? Anyone can plainly see that's Powers, right? Oh, uh, yeah. Um, well, I wonder? True, Mr. Powers does play the role of the Steel Samurai. I'll keep, I keep getting that messed up, so I'm gonna write that down. I, I know that. I wasn't born yesterday. Um, and that photo was taken by security camera, so she didn't need to be there. Oh yeah, you're right. You're right. 
So, she, so that means she just saw, she saw the the person walking by. Um, no one in this court is accusing of that, Miss uh, Witness. He's having trouble calling her old bag, apparently. However, you do not have proof that the person in this photo is Mr. Will Powers. Of course I have proof. Hmm. What? Ha! Ah! Even Edgeworth is surprised. <laughs> Very funny. Yo, this case is... Oh my god. <laughs> the prosecution would like to ask the old... The witness. The witness. Please make known all the information in your possession ahead of time. How was I to know... Everyone would be so nosy. You should be ashamed, all of you. Anyways, I showed the photo to the young detective. He told me, this isn't any good as evidence, pal. He didn't even give it a second look. Oh, gumshoe. Wow, old windbag has left even Edgeworth speechless. She's good. Let's hear about your proof then. I never say anything. I don't mean, mind you. That morning, during the run-through of the action scene, I saw Powers trip and fall. He broke one of the props. It was a big mess. How? Oh, okay. He didn't break the spear though, right? Because the spear is still intact. Apparently, he sprained his ankle pretty bad. Now look at that picture. You can see he's dragging his leg. Okay. That's how I knew it was Powers. Happy? Oh. Oh. She's got to be hiding something. I'll press her until she squeals. Alright, let's let's press her. Uh-huh. Okay, let's just press. Let's do it. Um Whipper Snapper! Hey, I haven't said anything yet. I'll have you know, I'm not pointing fingers at anyone behind their backs. Everything I've said is on the straight and narrow. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Mr. Wright, please, for all our sakes, try not to upset the witness. I think Edgeworth has met his match. <laughs> okay, here we go. Wait, wait, what? During the run-through of the action phase... Our action scene. Saw powers trip and fall. He broke one of the props. Okay, let's let's. He broke a prop. He sure did. His own samurai spear. Huh? The murder weapon? Luckily, I was there with my duct tape to fix it. This strikes me as a significant detail. I'd better write this down in the court record. Uh, is the spear broken? I can't see, like... Let me see. Is it actually broken? Oh, a break in the shaft has been mended with duct tape. Ah, okay. He sprained his ankle pretty bad. You can see he's dragging his leg. See? Clear as day. Are you absolutely sure? Let's take a, let's take a look at that picture again. Um, so he was walking strangely because he was injured. Hmm, it does look like he was dragging his foot. But look, the way his, uh, his pants, his trousers, the other one is also dragging. See? And you didn't trust me, whippersnapper. That's how I knew it, was Powers. Happy? Well, Nick, find any glaring contradictions? I guess I'll just press her and see if I can shake her conviction. Oof. Who was present at the run-through? Well, let's see. There was Powers. Then Hammer. And me. Penny wasn't... Penny wasn't in there? Observing. Just observing. What about the assistant? Oh, she was off moving backdrops around and such. So she didn't see the run-through? Shoot. 
trip and fall? And to think he's supposed to be the steel samurai. What a laugh. Okay. You helped him make it better? I kissed it where it hurt. Are you serious? <laughs> L let's just skip over that part, shall we? Oh, goodness. Where was the assistant then? Oh, her? She was cleaning up backdrops. She didn't know about Power's ankle. Hmm. You may continue your testimony. Okay. I think we've heard enough. Haven't we, your honor? Well, there is one thing that bothers me, which is... Where is this steel samurai costume now? What? We didn't know? Um... Hmm. Actually, we couldn't find it. We're looking, though. What? Anyway, that's not important. The witness did see the steel samurai. And it's clear that the person in the suit was Mr. Will Powers. We can't say that. Edgeworth, what kind of job? Hmm, I suppose that's right. Judge, what are you doing, man? Are you sure? You're sure, your honor? Oh, God. Um. Hmm. I'm not sure if I want to object. I don't have enough proof. Or I don't have any evidence to, to counter. Like, look. Really. Really. Pierced through the chest by a spear. But the spear was broken? And it was fixed? Oh, goodness. Oh. Oh, cool. This is pretty cool. Penny. Maya. Jackhammer. Uh, I always object. Well, if you do it, I'll do it too. Hold it right there. We keep talking possibilities, but we have to agree that this photo shows the Steel Samurai. Nowhere in this photo can we see Mr. Will Powers. Defense has a point. See, I told you, you can't just make assumption. Hey, someone, this man is in this suit. If you don't, your client will be found guilty, right? Yeah, you're right. Doing nothing as a lawyer? Are you serious? Um, okay. I would. I, I also wonder if someone else not caught on camera could have killed Mr. Hammer. Duh. I mean, almost the highest suspicion. It has to be the person who manages the camera, you know, because they know where the cameras are. We have to consider that possibility also. Then allow me to remove that doubt from your mind, your honor. Will the witness continue her testimony, please? No need to ask twice. Oh God, here we go. The time of poor Hammer's death was 2.30. Yep. The only person I saw go to the studio before was Will Powers. No one else went there. Yeah, we can't be too sure, old bag. If they had, I would have seen them. Hmm. So if no one else went to the studio, then it would have to be the Steel Samurai who did it. Mr. Wright, you may cross-examine the witness. Oh, God. All right, all right, all right, Edgeworth. All right, Edgeworth. I got you, fam. I got you. Time of poor Hammer's death was 2.30. The only person I saw go to the studio. Okay. Uh, how could you be sure? What about before you got to the guard station? You mean before one? Yup. Everyone was in the... Okay. Before then. Yeah, at, at noon, everyone was there. And I locked the main gate so no one could get in. Not to mention... If they had, I would have... Okay, press that. Are you sure? The witness has answered the question. 
Anyone going into the studio had to pass by the witness. But she wasn't there! If it was an inside job, you know... You'll let him have it, edgy boy. <laughs> edgy boy. Oh, God. Old windbag sure has balls. Or, well, you know what I mean. <laughs> Old windbags have a way of skipping over important details, after all. Oh, wow. Or for that matter, entirely forgetting them. How convenient. Oh, God. Uh, true. Okay, why is she asking? Why is she asking that? How do you know that? Huh? Didn't I just explain? I gave donuts to the young detective. And then, after some rubbish about it being a secret, pal, he told me everything. Oh, gosh. Shares his fellow officer's fondness for donuts. Ah, uh, well, Powers. Ah. Oh, man. Time more. The only person. Death 230. I saw go to the studio before then was with Powers. Did I ask this already? Quite, quite, Sonny. Nobody suspicious looking passed by at all. Nobody suspicious looking. Right. Uh, okay. I already saw that. Um, present. Yeah. The only person I saw go to the studio for that was with powers. Will Powers. Yeah, I... have that. I have that. No one else went there. What can I say? I, I can't say anything. I don't know what to say. If they had, I would have seen them. Will Powers. Okay, let's do it again. I don't want to present it. I guess I did. It's the same one, I guess. Because she said Will Powers, but it's not. This photo was taken by the camera at the gate for the studios, correct? Yes, sir, Sonny. So, whenever anyone passes by here and automatically takes a picture. And here, I thought you didn't know your head from a hole in the ground. Right. Anyway, it's also true that the computer in the guard station records all security cam data. Oh, you know, if you if you wanted to work at the studio, we might have an opening. Okay. Note that on the back of the photo. Oh. But there's a second one. There's a second one, or there's a first one. Photo number two. The, the, the computer only held data for one photo on that day. Ah. Oh. Okay, that was good. That was good. That's a good one. I didn't see this, actually. It slipped through. If it really was the only photo. Oh... Oh, nice, nice, nice. Order, order. This evidence shows that not one, but two people went to the studio that day. Yet there's only data for one of the photos. Who could have erased the data for the other photo? Only someone with access, the security lady herself. Eh, <laughs> you watch your mouth, whippersnapper. The only person I saw that day was Will Powers. Oh, wow. But the camera on the gate fired twice. That means two people went by. Huh? 
Um, well, yes, that's what it would seem to mean. Can the witness explain this to the court? It's witchcraft. It's witchcraft. I, I don't understand these newfangled computer things. Um, edgy boy, help. Uh, believe me, I want to. But I don't know what this means either. Hmm. Huh. Some help you are. You're a whippersnapper too. Oh. Whippersnapper? Oh god, she's gonna blame the the young girl. Penny. Something the matter, Miss Old Bag? Ah, that's right. I I just remembered something. Let me guess. Really? These witnesses, man? Remembering something? Someone else passed by the gate? Someone other than the Steel Samurai? Uh, well, yes. I suppose you could put it that way. Can you really put it that way, though? 